Hi, this is Justin from Acer Service. In a previous video, I showed you how you can use our Acer eRecovery management software to reload your computer back to factory defaults. Some of you asked if this was possible to do if you couldn't load your unit into Windows. It actually is, and I want to take a moment to show you how to do it. In order to get the process started, there's two keys you're going to have to press together. The first is the Alt key to the left of the spacebar. The second is the F10 key. Starting with the computer off, go ahead and power it on, and as soon as you see the very first Acer screen, press and release the Alt and F10 keys together one time. Instead of booting into Windows like it normally would, you'll see a screen letting you know it's loading files along with the progress bar. Once it completes, it'll load into the eRecovery Management tool. The first option, Restore Operating System to Factory Defaults, will erase everything on your computer and reinstall Windows. The second option will restore the computer back to factory defaults, but it'll save the files in your user account folder. It won't save files located anywhere else on the drive or any installed programs. So if you choose this option, it's still best to back up any other files you may need. For the case of this video, I'm going to click on the first option. On the next screen, you'll see a notice letting you know that everything on your C drive is going to be erased. If you're able to, now will be the time to click cancel and back up any files you want to save if you haven't done so already. Make sure your AC adapter is plugged in and any external drives are disconnected. When you're ready, click on next. The next screen will let you know where it's going to restore Windows 2, which will be your main hard drive. Go ahead and click next again. You'll see one final notice letting you know everything is going to be erased. Click OK and the restore process will start. It should take anywhere from 10 minutes to upwards of an hour depending on what computer you have. It'll keep you updated on its progress along the way. Once it's done, your computer will restart on its own and load into Windows where it'll perform the first time setup, as well as install software and drivers. You'll also see it restart several times during the process. Once it finishes, your computer will be like it was when you first took it out of the box. And this method will work on the majority of our notebooks and desktops. If you have any questions, please visit our website, support.acer.com.